Welcome to your Barbados Today Evening Interview, today Friday, December 4. As many as 60,000 Barbadians will have initial access to the COVID-19 vaccine when it becomes available. Word of this from Health and Wellness Minister Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Bostick today. He says there is no clear timeline on when the vaccine will be available here and no final determination has been made on who will be selected for the first doses. Bostick, however, revealed that government has already made a down payment to the Pan American Health Organization towards the procurement of the vaccine, and this will ensure Barbados receives a dosage that will cover 20% of the population. Yeah, the down payment was $1.2 million, and that places us within the co what is called the COVAX facility, which is a partnership between uh, PAHO. I'm utilizing the PAHO revolving fund, which is normally used for um, immunizations and other things, and also with CARFA involved as well. And what that does for us is to guarantee us, uh, in the first instance, about 20% vaccines, or, or vaccines for 20% of the population. So that's between 50 and 60,000 people. Um, in the first instance. So as soon as the vaccines are available to the facility, then that process will commence. He also assured there's no need to fear the COVID-19 vaccine since Barbados has a tested and proven immunization track record. We uh, anticipate that there will be some issues there as well, but we are part of the plan going forward is to mount a very massive public relations campaign to give Barbadians the assurance that they, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking the vaccine when it is available and that given our immunization program over the years and the success of that program that Barbadians should feel confident in taking the vaccine and we will be monitoring this very carefully and I can tell you up front before you even ask me as a soldier I lead by example so I will take the vaccine and I'll do that publicly. Frustrated hotel workers are not backing down from their demands for their outstanding severance payment and other entitlements. Today, former employees of Accra Beach Hotel, the Savannah Beach Hotel and the Barbados Hilton stage a protest outside Accra Beach on Rockley Christ Church. The workers, who maintain they have been treated unfairly, say they have no intention of giving up the fight. We want our voices to be heard, right, and the problems that we are going through. We want the general public to know. We, want, we would like, well, yes, we understand that the Prime Minister would have said that we would, the NAS would pay us, but you know how that can be. When would the NAS pay us? Would it be another 10 years, another 15 years? We know we will get it, but what time span? They got people that die that was waiting on their severance from the NAS and never, you know, they die and went down and never receive it. Their family never got it. So we would like to know when will we get the severance. We are all this together and one hotel in Barbados is, is, is basically the equivalent of all because they all have the same standards and, uh, and the same problems. So I know how the, how the staff at the Aqua and the Savannah feel, so I lend my support. I work at the Savannah Beach Hotel and in my possession is a letter that was given to us telling us our, our, our severance were being, was being processed and that we will get it as soon as possible. Okay. We have workers that work at this hotel in the last four years, was never given 40 hours, even when the hotel was at full capacity. And you have a situation where the rainfall, the place is flooded, and some of these maids work so hard. Another issue is you're having more work than the time you're allowed to do. So you're going over your time back practically every day. You are not given no extra pay. Number two, we have something in incentive, but we don't get service charge. Incentive is something that the company gives you. If you get work late, something will take out about $20. If you call in sick, something as much as $65 to get take out this money. It's only $100. You understand? But my issue is with the letter. He, he said he would pay severance. It was processing. No, we are not getting it. Another issue is we have about seven letters we get from the hotel. Or not, or not one occasion did the, the owner of the hotel come and say, okay, 
we have COVID, there is no work. You understand? At no time did he call us together and explain to us the situation. Local students got a timely reminder today to give back to society. Education Minister Santia Bradshaw issued the challenge at the launch of the Give Back program at the Barbados Community College. The program sees undergraduate students from a majority of the tertiary institutions on the island offering voluntary services to several public and private companies on the island. Minister Bradshaw said that with government investing large sums of money each year in educating people on the island, it's only fair that students volunteer their skills to help push the country forward. We recognize that we couldn't just be a government that gave a handout and in turn tried to beat into you a sense of responsibility. We recognize that we had to inspire you to join with us in understanding how important giving back education and the educational opportunities are, but equally that you understood as well that this isn't something that you're just trying to get you to do because we put aside um, the funds to pay for this. But this is something that is really who we are as a people. And we perhaps have moved away a lot from um, that sense of civic responsibility and giving back in communities. I mean, Barbados has changed so much over the course of the last few decades that people tend to focus more on themselves. They tend to focus on their families or their individual um, wants and needs as opposed to looking at society as a collective. So we wanted to make sure that through this program, that we inspire U.S. students to start to think about ways from now that you can be able to create a Barbados that you want to live in. Principal of the Barbados Community College, Annette Allen, added that it's important for students to engage in volunteerism as it helps to develop their work ethic for future employment. I want to encourage you to embrace the spirit of volunteerism and giving back. Very often, Volunteerism comes without thanks, appreciation, or reward. You keep going because you recognize that the task is bigger than you are, and that the vision and the purpose of the institution or organization supersedes personal interest. Sometimes the knowledge that you're serving a higher purpose is just enough. There's regional and international news after this short break. Regional News, Jamaica is preparing for the arrival of the COVID-19 vaccine. Authorities say some 15% of the population will benefit from the first batch of the vaccination. More than $8 million US dollars. That's how much it is expected to cost the government for the first phase of the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine in Jamaica. At Thursday's sitting of the Public Administration and Appropriations Committee, PAAC, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Dunstan Bran, disclosed that payment of just over one million US dollars has already been made. The balance, he explained, will be paid from the next budget. The subsidized cost for the 20% is around um, 8.2 million US dollars. Um, and we have had the, the initial deposit of about 1.1 million dollars um, through CARFA, which is the Caribbean Public Health Agency. Um, and so the balance we are programming for fiscal year 2021 20, 22. 22. Right. Yeah. And, and, and I'm hoping that within that budget we're looking at the second phase also. Well, well it all depends yeah. what happens in the first phase. The vaccines will require a non stop sterile refrigerated environment to stay potent and safe which has raised concern about sufficient storage facilities on the island. However, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jacqueline Bisesa mckenzie said the island has facilities for the storage of the COVID-19 vaccines. 
She adds that the vaccines will be acquired in batches. Storage conditions that are required are conditions that we presently have in country. Mm -hmm. So this is the minus 20 degrees that you would have heard associated with another type of vaccine. And this is the present, present this is like in your, in your freezer. Um, so we are presently, we presently procure vaccines, for example, the polio vaccine, mm -hmm. the, the MMR vaccine that are stored under those conditions. And so we do have the capacity for the storage and transportation of those vaccines. On the international scene, Britain and the European Union failed today to secure a trade agreement, saying talks will be paused so negotiators could talk to politicians to get better guidance on where to go next. The UK and EU negotiators, who have uh, spent at least three days and three nights uh, discussing, there are significant divergences that remain. So uh, they have mutually agreed, both Brexit chief negotiators for the EU, Michel Barnier, for the United Kingdom, David Frost, uh, that they will pause this. They will go back. They will talk to their principals. So for Michel Barnier, that's going back uh, to Brussels. For David Frost, he just has to go to Downing Street and see Boris Johnson. And interestingly, the British Prime Minister will now talk to uh, the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen to talk about the state of play and, and where the talks are at. So no surprise that state aid subsidies, enforcement of new rules, fishing remain the key sticking points. And of course, that has been true for a very long time as well. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.